Here's a video to show you uh, my etching process. Okay, so here's my uh, power supply, which I did before. Uh, as I said, I, I'm going to do another three because my, uh, as you can see here, this power supply that I had stopped working. So I'm going to put my own uh, design inside it. So here it is on a piece of uh, glossy magazine. I've printed it with my uh, laser printer. Uh, what I've done, I've cleaned the PCB using uh, steel wool. So I get the best result for cleaning with this and then just wiping it with a, with a bit of cloth as you can see here and I'm just waiting for my uh, laminator to get hot and just go here and put this through it's a quite a big board as you can see here I've, uh, I've never had this bigger board put in inside the laminator so I assume it's gonna need uh, at least six or seven times to go through for the heat to transfer properly and uh, this is my um, acid bath as you can see here I got a little motor with a little plastic shaft because you can't put a metal shaft inside because of the acid will uh, just uh, eat it away as you can see here uh, you can see a bit of acid is uh, spilled on the aluminum and you can see it's starting to react and just eat the aluminum so I need to clean that so what I need to do I need to just put this down a bit open this up yep I got acid all over my hand now I'm just gonna wait till this come out there we go now let's just put it this way going through yep okay let's just open this up okay as you can see here uh, basically this is I think uh, uh, I don't know which uh, what part water what part acid but this is the ferrochloride that I use as you can see here I've used a lot because I etch all my boards myself so I just put a tiny bit of that and the rest water so I've just got to wait till this board gets gets done. Feed it through again. It's getting pretty hot, so I think another two or three time. But as you can see, this board is massive, so it's not going to fit all the way inside here. So what I got to do, I got to uh, do this twice. So I've got to do one side of it, and then once that side is etched, then the flip it and put the other side inside, and etch that side as well. Hopefully that will work. As you can see here, okay. Uh, the best method for etching for me um, is for me to agitate the acid as much as I can, because uh, once you ag agitate the acid, uh, the etching process, you know, the time, you know, almost halves, maybe even more. If I just leave the board inside the acid on its own and I don't move the acid about, it normally takes a long time, but you tend to, if you got smaller track, you tend to uh, get like, you know, the bit of acid will eat the tracks because you're leaving it in there for a longer time. But once I'm ag agitating the acid with the, with the motor, it, it takes half the time and I've never ever had any problem with like, you know, with my edge. Even when I'm using like you know surface mount and uh, uh, you know ICs, uh, let me just show you. Even if I uh, if I'm using ICs like like these ICs, I've never had problem with the tracks for these with my uh, with my etching process. So uh, I think. Yep, that should be that should be done. So what I do, uh, I just put some weight on top of this because uh, once this spins, it does vibrate a bit. So I just put a bit of weight on it to take the vibration out. Turn my on, 
and away we go. Spin, spin, spin. You can see here. Let's spin around now. Okay, I think my board is ready. I'll just run it one more time for good luck. <laughs> I tell you, this is very dangerous. The amount of time I've burned myself with this because this metal is really hot. So, uh, unfortunately, I had to cut these because uh, the way it was, it, this is set on an angle at the moment. I've got this on an angle, so you know it doesn't hit the plastic and it can pull out. But the way originally it was when I first bought it, it the, the board goes halfway and gets stuck. So I had to cut this whole thing off. Uh, but this is this is quite dangerous. You need to be very careful because this is really 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 hot Okay, let me just turn this off now just To one side and uh, let's see how much of Yeah, as you can see here. I can almost fit inside so now it's time to go into the bathroom and Sort my board out Let's see here. Oh, that's funny. See my hand is showing up funny in the camera. Anyways, let's just put the water inside. Yeah, I've got the the board is bigger than the actual. Uh, PCB trace is because I'm going to use this to mount uh, standoff so I can uh, mount this into the enclosure that I have. I found that this paper is really good as you can see. Look at this, it just peels off so easily. Look, this bit is where I had the seller tape. See, it's just this magazine is the best for uh, for toner transfer. As you can see, so easy. Okay, this is where the glue was, the cellar tape was. Unfortunately, it went on top, so it kind of got stuck. Yep, I need to definitely reach touch this board. There we go. Uh, now it's ready. Into my room. Put this over here. Ah. Get my little cloth. Put it in there. Right, I'm just gonna put the camera down. Like so. There we go. Wipe it off. Yep, as you can see here, the top one. Unfortunately, um, the seller tape got stuck to the board. And uh, what I gotta do is I gotta retouch this with the uh, with the permanent marker, Sharpie. Okay. So you just need to go through. Obviously, we got some over in here. Then you got the big track over here. Like this. Then you got the track over here. For the relay there. Okay, where we got here. Okay. So over here. And just go over like that. Get more ink into it. It's getting a bit dry. There we 
go. Okay, everywhere else seems alright. Oh yeah, there's one thing that I forgot on my other designs. Just to put a little blob there. A little blob there. And a little blob there. Okay. Seems alright. There. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do these two first and then the top one last the top one last so one quick look and uh, it seems alright now what I need to do is you can see here I've got some extra Take them off. Extra toner there. You can see there. There we go. There we are. As you can see there. Let's go into bath time. So we go. Just put it all the way in. There we go, like so. There we are. As you can see there. The motor is spinning 9.7 volt and we draw in 280 milliamp. If we just pull it up, as you can see here, there we go. Yep, I need to stand here. It. There we go. We just leave it there. It's sliding around. There we are. Almost in. Uh, what I need, I think I need a bigger, bigger bucket. Good to get a bigger bucket. So what I need to do is if I can just pull this further back. I don't want the little um, propeller that I have touched the board because it might it might peel the toner off. Okay. I'm just going to leave it there. Usually it takes about uh, about 20 minutes. The whole thing to get etched. If I've got a complete board here, but as you can see this board is quite big. So it might take longer. I'm just going to leave it. And uh, once it's done, it'll be exactly the same as uh, what I had before on my power supply that I had. So uh, I can see here, uh, I changed this... Uh, uh, I'll just leave this for about a day to, for it to settle then what I do is uh, I pour everything into another bucket and then I just leave a bit at the end because where that's all the copper concentrate is then I just chuck that away and then again I just put a bit of uh, more acid and more water in it and just keep it like that so that's what I've been doing I tend to do this I think it's about once every month if I'm using it a lot if I'm not then I just use once every two or three months I just change the just make sure that I get the concentrate of uh, copper which always settles at the bottom I'll just get it out because um, obviously the more copper, copper you have in your solution the less uh, uh, you know your uh, acid is going to react to copper when you put it inside so 
That's what I do. Uh, as you can see here, that's the bucket. And that's the little motor that I got on top. And is agitating, as you can see, it's just spinning the acid around. And that really, really, really helps with the etching process. Okay, so thanks for watching, and until next video, goodbye.